this video, we will be learning about how to navigate to student profiles efficiently and effectively in New Aware and use some of the key features. In New Aware, there's an easy way to find specific student profiles. To do that, go to expand the navigation pane, click on Profiles, and then you can search by student name, then click on their profile, or search by student ID number. Once you find the student, click on their name, and it's going to open up something that looks very much like the old AWARE student profiles. You can review their assigned online supports by subject area. You can review their tests and scores on the Tests and Scores tab, and you can review or create any assigned forms on the Forms tab. A hot tip is to go back to the other profiles by clicking on the Profiles link at the top. That way, if you've used any filters to find your students, it will return you to that filtered list. You can also quickly and efficiently find groups of students in AWARE using the Profiles section. For example, returning to the Profiles section, we can click on any particular filter up at the top. For example, maybe you want to filter your list of students by a special program. You click the Programs button, scroll down, find the correct program. For example, if you're looking for EB students, find the LEP status section and select one or all options. Click Apply. Notice this teacher has 52 EB students. To clear out filters, you can deselect and click Apply, or there's also a Reset Filters button at the top. Now maybe I might check on my special ed students. This teacher has 26 students in special ed. can also create a filtered list of students by any assigned form. For the current combined AIP AEP form, search for 2023-24 Combined Accelerated Instruction Plan AIP AEP. You cannot search for forms from previous years because they were already archived. So here I am searching and filtering by the particular form since there are so many. I recommend searching with keywords rather than scrolling. Click the form, click apply, and then you've got a list of all the students with those forms already assigned to them. That way I can quickly and efficiently update those forms. Pay attention to the year though as you're selecting forms. That way you don't get a previous year. For more about forms, you can go to the presentation or these slides and find information about how to add a new form, in this linked file, or find out how to review or update a form in this linked video. I would highly recommend that you review online testing default supports by special program. For example, select all of your EB, Section 504, and special ed students, perhaps, to get a filtered list. Then once you open up a student's profile, check the supports that are listed for each subject area. The same support should be repeated for ELA, reading, and writing. If you do not see current uh, supports updated to the current, the most current supports that students should be receiving on each assessment, you may select the check boxes and then click the update button. If you do not see the update button, please email panda at neisd.net. At this time, I would like you to review your students' profiles, filter by any special program or programs, and check out their default supports. Click on individual student names, find their supports, and see if they are updated. Some of the most common supports you should look for are text-to-speech and content clarifiers. Some next steps would be to partner with the following people to set up those default AWARE online supports by subject area.